the bulldozer came calling to Grandma Lloyd's mobile home park. And now, as you can see, the park is no more. It's long overdue. Mayor Joe Hogshead was on hand for the trailer park takedown, but it was the people of the neighborhood who let the powers that be know that grandmas had to go. With the prostitution and the drugs and the homeless and the crime, we slept with knives in the doors, uh, chairs up against the doors, afraid to come out. My son has been uh, verbally attacked by the prostitutes. He's seen way more than an eight-year-old needs to. Sherry Belden, who lives right next door to Parrish, just down the street from the trailer park, cannot contain her joy. Today, it feels like Christmas. You've been anticipated on, you know, what, you know, when is it going to happen, and today it's finally happening. When it is complete, 35 trailers will have been removed and 59 other structures at a cost to the city of $93,000. What is next for the property? Ideally, we'd like to see a private developer be able to make the purchase and do some uh, development that would would suit the neighborhood. One neighbor told me she wants this area turned into a park. She wants to see it transform from a place of trouble to a place of peace. Derek Thomas, RTV6.